been printing for a very long time on the Carbo Random Glass Web from Coreality, which is awesome to print on. But if I want to start a new print right after I'm finished with printing, I need to wait until the print comes off with cooling down. I can also use a spatula, but then I can damage the print surface. However, this is something else like the Super Spring Steel Sheet from BQ. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. So like I mentioned in the intro, today I'm going to look at the Super Spring Steel Sheet from BQ. As you guessed it, it's a flexible print surface to print on, made out of metal or steel. It's very flexible and it has a PEI surface, meaning that when you are going to print, it will stick. And after you finish printing, you flex it right off. Try that with your Creality glass web or any glass web at all. And also, when you are printing with PETG and maybe some other filaments that are very hard to get off a glass web. And especially the Carbo Random glass web from Creality has a special coating on it to make sure that when you are printing on it, that you have a very good bad adhesion. Sometimes it's very important to have prints that really need to stick on. With the glass bed, when the print cools down, when the printer cools down, the glass bed cools down, and after a 10, 15 minutes, you hear a crack, and then you know that you can start a new print all over again. So you take the print off and then start a new print. And this is my old my first build surface where I printed everything on is very flexible and this was very nice to use every single time. However, after a few hundreds of prints, uh, my print surface it was damaged and I couldn't print anything on it. Maybe I'm going to reuse it on my Easy 3D X1 3D printer because it's 240 times 240. So meaning I can reuse this on the Easy Treat X1. And this is the Super Spring Steel Sheet from BQ. As you guessed, it's very flexible. Look how flexible it is. And there is a special coating on it where you can print on. It's called PEI. I don't know where it stands for. Everybody say it, says it. So I will say it as well but it's very flexible and when you print on it and you flex it right off. Of course I will put a affiliate link in the description of this video where you can buy the PEI spring steel sheet from the BQ. This one that is on here it's also the same kind of one that BQ used on the B1 and also on the BX. To install the Super Spring Steel Sheet from BQ, it's quite easy to do. When you have an Ender 3 Pro, just remove this one and use the magnetic bed, which is already on your heat bed. Then you just slap it right on here and you are almost done. However, you need to pay attention to the end stop. If you use the glass bed, then I highly recommend to lower your end stop to the starting position. When you change it from the flexible build plate to the glass bed. And then when the end stop is there, then you need to level your bed one more time again. And then it should be pretty much okay when you did that. If you have a different kind of 
other 3D printer like the ANET ET4 or some other 3D printers, this pack comes with three sheets. One is a magnetic sticker that you are going to stick onto your clean heat bed. And then you have a similar print surface like this one, like this one. Don't pay attention to the holes. Those are from a other project. And of course the super spring steel sheet. And then the results. The results are not the same as that you are used when printing on glass or your flexible print surface. And as you look on the backside where the model stick to the build surface, you will see a little, yeah, texture. And I don't mind, it's looking quite normal, very shiny as well. It's not that you are used to see when printing on glass or flexible print surface. And as mentioned, when you're done printing, you take it off, you just flex it, and then models come right off. Like that one, or just like this one. A very small build surface. I used a brim to have a little bit more bad adhesion, and it stick very well until the end. The result is amazing. Wait, there's one more thing. When you are going from the glass bed to the PEI spring steel sheet from the cube, instead of using a DL touch, you can also use an inductive sensor because you are printing on metal. So what do I think about the super spring steel sheet from the cube? It's a very nice build surface to print on. You flex prints right off your print bed. And you don't have to wait anymore, like you have to do with a glass bed. However, there are some other things, like when you are going to get these in, uh, shipped at home, please make sure that you will check everything, because yes, it will flex, but it can also bend during shipping. To the makers, I want to say, please check for a better packaging, ensuring that it doesn't bend during shipping. And the other thing, it's very nice, it's very easy, it's very comfortable. And when you have an Ender 3 Pro or you have an Ender 3 with already a magnetic sticker on your heat bed, it's that simple. You can exchange it without any problem. And if you use a glass bed, just put the end stop back to the original position, level your bed, and you are done. So let's wrap up this video. If you are looking for a nice PEI spring steel sheet, maybe the BQ super spring steel sheet is something for you. Check the affiliate links in the description of this video and also check which kind of size you need to use. For the Ender 3 Pro and my ANET ET4, it's very easy to use. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. If you are still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And if you are there, check also out the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D prints. Bye-bye.